Answer us by fire, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor you. I thank you and I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome once again. I welcome everyone, newcomers, new first timers. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in the name of Jesus. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Canada. Uh, welcome once again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. We are dealing with the subject called prayers to know God's will in marriage. Prayers to know God's will in marriage. Uh, many times we get involved to marriage, to marry, but we have no idea if this is from God or it's not from God. They are, they are married that are very they are married that have been swallowed. They are married, no love, just for beauty and handsome and handsomeness. You see somebody so beautiful, so nice or handsome. So you go for that. You see somebody, a lady is so beautiful, wearing nice, 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 and you go for that and you are married a seven time. You saw a, a, a man tall, beautiful, nice, handsome. You go for it without any choir from God. You marry a python. Now, when you marry this serpent, you marry the python. You marry the snake in the house. And then things start 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 changing the house. They are married where the couples are into adultery. They are beaten and beaten, beating marriage. When you 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 are in in a relationship, and then you end up in adultery. You end up. To, to, to commit adultery. So you, you destroy your marriage. That is the, that's why you see they are married when the couples are into adultery. They are beating and, 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 and fighting marriage. There are plenty of open and close programmers marriage. There are plenty of marriage to satanic agents. So you are, if your marriage were done through demonic consultation, that marriage needs deliverance. So if you want to know, because some marriage people go to consult witchcraft or false prophets, and the prophets will prophesy to you, then you say it was prophesy, so you go with that without seeking God. Now, if you got somebody like that, you need deliverance. If you got a child, a child that mar marriage needs deliverance. Some people, they get a baby, they, they make adultery, then they come pregnant. Now baby is coming, so they force marriage without love. The, the, people, the, the couples have not prepared. You just be rarely get married because you are pregnant. You want to take away shame. And you didn't take time. If you got married because of tribal statements, it needs it needs, it needs, it needs, it needs a deliverance. Some people, they come like they go to overseas because they are looking for paper, they are looking for help, and they rush to the, that marriage. The, you know that marriage, there's no love. You went there because you wanted something. Then that marriage needs deliverance. Some people, they end up like that. Many I, I people call me and they tell me how they get married. And you find the marriage is destroyed or they, they are affecting the, the, the really marriage. Some people, they, they, they help people to get to come to overseas. Now they can divorce their, their partners because they want to bring their people. Now after that, you damage your marriage, you destroy your marriage, you, you will become single forever. So you have to seek the will of God. Everything you do, you, you need the will of God before you go to anything. If you got married because your parents says you should get married, you are married needs deliverance. Some people they are forced to get married because their parents want you to get married. They force you, they, are, they, they force you, and you are not ready. So you go in. When you go in, then that marriage you need deliverance because you are forced. That is not love. You didn't take time to know the, the will of God in your marriage. So as you are singles, you have to seek the will of God. You do not know each other, but still, 
we went ahead and got married. That marriage means deliverance. You know on one fact. When you marry, you are, you are marry generation. When you marry, you marry a family tree for both sides. So technically, you have married bondage from both sides. The bondage from both sides have, have combined, co combined to a big bondage with which you must confront. So you when you marry without knowing each other, you just come, you, you just make fr friendship for a short time. You are at least got married without knowing each other. You are technically married, marrying a bondage, a problem from both sides. So you need to seek God, to ask God his will in your marriage, the secret of your marriage. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, you, if you look at the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, the Bible says, the book of Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, the prayers to know God's will in your marriage. If you read the book of Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, the Bible says, the sacred things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children for ever, for, for, forever, that we may do all the words of, of this law. Praise be the name of Jesus. Prayer to, to know God's will in your marriage. The Bible says the sacred things belong unto the Lord our God. The sacred things belongs to our God. And the Bible says, but those things which are revealed belongs unto us and to our children. So the things, the sacred belongs to God, but those things which are revealed, but those things which are revealed unto us, yes, Deuteronomy 29, 29, belongs unto us and our children. So the, the, the sacred of God, Belongs to God. So you will ask God, show me the secret of this person. Lord, show me the secret. Because it belongs to you and your children. children. Show me the secret of this person. Is he a Julian person? Is he a godly person? Is he a person who, who is willing to marry me or is marrying me or be, he wants me for adultery? Is he how is the family? The Lord, as we pray and fasting, and you have somebody, or somebody has come to you, those who have already engaged, before you, 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 before you decide anything, before you go to that day, the wedding day, just ask God, Deuteronomy 29, 29, God, show me the secret of this person. Show me the secret behind this person. God will reveal to you the secret, because the Bible says he will reveal the secret. Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord will reveal the secret. The secret of God belongs to you and your children. Children, Even parents who their children are going to marry. Maybe some of you are stand, you are in contact to your children, your mother, your parents. You, you, will ask, you will ask this question. God, so the secret behind the couple, behind the problem of my parents or the problem that is facing this marriage. The Lord will reveal to you. When you get the problem, then you will hammer it. You will hammer it. You will find out the secret behind that that makes the marriage cannot stand. You have to seek the secret. Thank you very much, treasure. You know, the sec there's the secret things. And if you don't ask God's secret, God cannot... You God is there, but he needs action. The Bible says, faith without the action is dead. Therefore, because... Faith always go with action. Now you have you say, I got this, I found this. I got this partner, I got a friend, and before anything, you can continue talking. I'm not refusing to talk. Just talk, meet, talk, talk, but meanwhile, go to your knees. Separate time. Go and inquire from God. Is this person, is this from you, God? What is the secret of this person? What is he after? Is he after my body? 
You see after my money. You see after what I, my beauty, the way I look. So the Lord will show you. Then after God will show you, you will call the person and say, sorry, I'm not ready. Try someone else. This is a wrong number. The Lord will reveal to you the secret of this person. Now when you get this, the Lord Almighty, the Lord Almighty will honor that marriage. That's why he said there will be no sander. If people can, can seek God before they get married, you can never, never, never divorce. Because God, God, God is God. God is God and it doesn't contradict his word. You know, when people were marrying without consulting God, they get problems. Now they wanted to divorce. So God told Moses, Moses give them the divorce, divorce certificate so that they can get away from, from each other. Even God told told the, the people in the book of Ezra, uh, the book of, uh, uh, I think it's Ezra. Yes, he told them, divorce those with people because you marry them without consulting me. I am not a part and parcel of that marriage. I am not pressing the marriage. So you married by yourself and now you are in trouble. Get out, out of that. So some, such a marriage, such a marriage, it could not stand. So if you want to walk away from such a marriage, you are entitled to do so. That's what the Bible says. Because if you marry a pagan and it, the, the, the enemy, your enemy, you marry an enemy, the enemy will not help you, he will kill you. That's why you, you can see us a beautiful woman, very, very beautiful, eight, finger eight, nice. Now you run and marry the woman, you marry a python, you marry a snake. You look at a tall man, there was a case in Africa. It is true story, and people tell us I am a counselor, and people comes to me. There, there, there was a lady. She was very beautiful. She has never known a, a man, and she was really very faithful. And and she was she was there. Now, one time, their family they are poor. They are poor, but uh, they, they are they are. They are middle class, but they are, they, are, they are not really very, very poor, but they were like middle class. Middle class here is, is you are able, but the home, middle class, they are really poor, but they can afford some, some little food. And they are poor, the poor, the poorest, who doesn't have anything. Now this girl, one time she went to the store, she went to the city. When she went there, she saw a man with a very nice car. Uh, I could like, I could say BMW or the modern, the car, the best car. And it was newly car. The man was in a suit and very nice. The man smiled with the girl. Then the girl smiled with the man. So he was like, he's 35 years and the girl was like 25 years. So the, the age was, was little good. Now this man said, hi, hi, hi. They said hi to each other. And then then the man loved the girl and said the girl, the, why, why did you come here? I said, I, I am coming to pick some few things so uh, to go home. Then the man told the, the girl, let's go. Then the man, because the man saw the love to this girl, so now they went to the store. And the man told the, the woman, the girl, to pick everything she wants. Then the, the girl pick, pick, pick the trolley, the fool, about like, like what we can say, $200. In our money a lot of money two hundred dollars is a lot of money so the lady picked things and took the things home the man gave him a light to the to his home to her the home of the, the, the home of the lady when the, when she reached there she, she she left things and and she was so happy she went and told the parents that i found a boyfriend and he's, he's a very good person this is what he has brought to us so the parents, everybody was so happy, says, God has blessed us. They, they said, thank you, thank you. They were so happy. Now the next day, the man come again and meet the lady and told the lady, the lady, what do you want? Clothes? Then she, he, he took her to the store where the clothes, expensive clothes are. So the girl went and picked nice, nice clothes. And then the third, the third day, the same every day, the man was doing something to the, the, the lady. The fourth time, the lady, the, the man says, you know, this, this girl, she doesn't know. She has never met. She was a virgin. She never met a man. So the, the man said, now, baby, I love you so much. I want to test. I want to come and test. 
because they, this because there was a lot of love, the guy didn't say no. Then they went, and uh, they said okay. Uh, they got to, they, they went to a place. They, they, the girl was faithful and told the man, "I've never known a man, so I don't know how to do it. But I, I because you are you are so good to me, help me." So the man said, "Okay, let's go." They went and they tried. After that, pray. After they go, and then man did what he did. And then he told the girl, "Now I want you. I want my 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 boy to to suck." The man sucked the the breast of the woman. The girl. The, the man started uh, uh, sucking the breast. The man sucked that breast until the breast started bleeding. Suck until the, the man sucked the, 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 the lady, the breast, until the blood started coming. Now the girl said, you are killing me, I'm dying. The man did not say, you are dying? You didn't remember all this food, the things that I paid for you, and your parents knows that I paid you? So the man, the woman, the man sucked that woman until the woman died. Now, after the death, the, the man went and threw that woman at the door of the, 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 the people, at the door, their home. When the parents woke up, they found the girl dead there. Yes, that is the story how that girl died. And the parents cried, they mourned, they mourned because they received food, they received money without consulting God. If they consult God, if they went prayer and fasting, and ask God, the food we have been given, the money we have got, is this a child of God or a child of the devil? Who is this? Before we accept it is. Yeah? So they did not, they were excited, they were happy, and they end up to lose their child. The child was donated to the, to the devil. So that's why you need to pray that God to show the secret. It was terrible. And that is things, these things have been happening. Many, many, many women, it happened like that. So if you are a child of God, you have to go to Thessalonians 29, verse 29, to ask God to reveal you the secret, to a prayer, to know God is with in that marriage. If you, and, and let's look at the, the book of uh, Psalms 8, sorry, the book of Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 5, verse 8, Psalms 5, verse 8, the Bible says, Lead me, O Lord, in the righteous because of, hallelujah, yes, Psalms 8, Psalms 5, verse 8, Psalms 5, verse 8, there is some um, destruction here in the computer, something pump, pump in, those things, I don't know where they come from, the book of Psalms 5, verse 8, the Bible says, lead me, O Lord, in the righteousness, because of my enemies, Make the way straight before my face. You know, David prayed, Lord, lead me. Oh, Lord, lead me to the righteousness because of my enemies. There, are, there, there, there is enemies. You have enemies. So that you ask the Lord to make the way straight. The way straight, the way, the way of your marriage. The way straight because there is enemy. There is a lot of enemies around that will come, pretend, and they are hindering your marriage. There are a lot of enemies. So, the David said, because of my enemies, make the way straight before my face. So, ask God to make the way straight before this man, before you engage yourself, before you commit adultery, before you go to this marriage. Make, pray that God make way straight. If there is anything which is not straight in this marriage, in this relationship, let God it cut it off. Lord, let it destroy. You, you don't have even to, 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 to fight of anything. You pray that God, if this person is not from you, let him cut and remove him from my life in Jesus' name. Then the person will go. If after these prayers, if you find your partner has gone, don't worry. It was, it was not for you. If you find your partner is there, that's it for you. But if you find your partner is he, he, he are saying bye bye, he has cut you off, don't worry. That, that is not yours. Because you don't need your problem. You can love somebody so much, but it's a snake, it's a python. It's just a bear. So what is the point of marrying and you can't live together? 
You leave the child fatherless, you leave the child motherless. You end up spending money to, to the court to, to divorce. There is no point like that. God that not originated, God did not create like that. God created and it said it is good. And the Bible says if you find a, a wife, you find a good thing. So the, all this scripture we've been studying, they, they are true. It is working. But if you, you go by yourself, it will not work for you. Then you think that is easy. It's not easy. I pray that God will deliver your marriage. Will give you the right way that you will go. There are so many scriptures that we can, we can read. But I will leave it for, for 4 o'clock. I will have a meeting for 4 o'clock. Therefore, I want to pray that God will, will, will help you. We will talk in the 4 o'clock. We are going to talk signs and symptoms for, for evil marriage. So... When you, you want to get married, before you get married, if you see some signs, you need the deliverance. I, we will talk that about, uh, 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 we'll talk about them, four o'clock. So four, four o'clock, invite some friends, invite people, they will be topic that you need to know, the symptoms and signs before you, you get married, uh, which, 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 which you see. Because everything God will show you. You might be having some dreams. So we'll talk about those dreams. If you see them in your dreams, then you know that there's something wrong. You need deliverance. You need deliverance. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you so much. I pray that any satanic design in your family, I command them to receive fire of God and roast in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every word of the devil that will rest up against your marriage, against your engagement, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your engagement, once you are engaged with somebody, let not the thunder come in between. If this person is not from God, let that engagement be cancelled, in the name of Jesus. If you are engaged with the Satan, with the child of the devil, I pray that it scatter it. There is no point that you waste your time. You go ahead and you have married Jezebel. You have married a python. You have married an enemy. You, are, you married a witch who will come to drink your blood and eat your flesh. You, you don't need this problem. You better seek care God's face to get you the right person. You don't mind for beauty. You don't mind of handsome. When God was choosing David as a king, there was handsome boys of... of of, of, of Jesse, but God said, no, I don't look the beauty of the person, I am looking the heart of a person. No matter the, when, when you get a person, no matter in, the way it looks like, that is your partner and God has trusted you with the person. There was a TV, a tall, tall, tall girl, lady married, a small person, these people, the, the short people, the small people, the, the, a half of like one feet, I don't know, four, four, four inches. Uh, two, three inches, those small people. The, the lady was tall, like six feet, and they married, and she married a tall, a small boy, a small person. You know, those, those big men, we, I don't know how you call them, the small people. They got, the woman is happy. She stayed with the man, and they got children. People were criticizing her. I don't know if you have seen that person in the, the TV. They were saying, why did you go to this small person? <laughs> God, if you seek the, the face of God, God give you the right person, that is your lifetime. You don't go for the beauty of a person. You don't marry the beauty because the beauty will be a snake, will be a witch who will come to bring your blood and eat your flesh. So you marry the right person that God is giving you. That's why we need to seek him. The Bible says seek the kingdom of God before anything. God is asking us, ask me. Knock the door. The door will be open. There are, we will talk midnight before the end of this, this prayer. You will be surprised what God is going to do to you. Even your finances will change because you need money for your wedding. So we will pray God to provide money for your wedding to give you a job. And when you are getting married, you, you don't get married and you go to beg people. You get married because you are going to be settled. So we'll talk about that uh, midnight, how you prepare your wedding. Because I know people are going to get married soon. God bless you so much. See you.
four o'clock today, four o'clock, see you four o'clock today, and midnight, uh, 12 midnight. God bless you. Let me see if I, no, I, I will not have uh, one o'clock prayer. I will have, instead I will have four o'clock prayer. So God bless you. See you. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for joining. Invite your followers. Uh, there's people who called me last night. Last night I didn't pick any calls because I was in the prayer and I had so much deliverance. So it was very hard for me to, to respond to your calls. I will try to contact those people. If you can call me, you are welcome to call me. I will talk to you. So God bless you so much. This is your host, 